So I'm here with Aaron Forsythe. Yeah. Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of The Magic Show. This week's show is a very special occasion. We're dedicating the entire running time to Wizards of the Coast's own Aaron Forsyth. Yes, the man, the myth, the legend himself, Aaron is the king crap of Turd Mountain in the magic world and it's time he got his due. This show was a very special collaboration between myself and our own Ben Blywis. So with no further ado, let's get this party started. Two words, Steam Flogger Boss, what happened? Transformers. Two words. Skull clamp. What happened? That's one word. But it's two words stuck together. It's just one but word. But it's two words! It's just two! Everybody loves an award show, am I right? I know that whenever there's an Emmys or Academy Awards, Golden Globes, Grammys, or ESPYs on television, I tune right into the internet the next day to see who won so I don't have to waste three hours of my life watching an industry giving itself the finest of self-loving. However, unless you count the yearly Hall of Fame inductions or the Invitational, Magic does not have its own night of celebration. And we at the Magic Show do not like this one bit. That's why we've decided to grab the bull by the horns and create the first biannual Base Edition Send-Off Bash. With much love to all Wizards R&D, we are happy to present the inaugural Forsythe Award Show. And guess what? We even come up with a nifty song and dance routine for this occasion. Make us sad, make us sad, make it sad, sad, so make us sad, make us sad, make it sad, sad, Bravo, bravo, yay! I never knew rodents could pilot an F-14 so convincingly. Sorry about the house, Utah, and now for our first award. Not only did poor Kurt Ape lose the, quote, selecting 10th edition vote to Mog Fanatic, but every single ape and monkey in 9th edition was put down by mean old Wizards of the Coast. Ancient Silverback? Gone. Tree Monkey and Zodiac Monkey? Gigged. Why were our poo-flinging ancestors yanked en masse from the base set? Only Aaron could say, and since he's not the one giving out the awards, we present our first prize to the creature type ape. The French delay is a pretty big hit. Are there any other foreign translations we can look forward to? Well, there is one. The Chinese translation of Tarmogoyf is bad motherfucker. For our second award, we'd like to commemorate two cards that were dragging out of retirement for several editions, mostly on the strength of being pet cards of certain R&D members. We're talking about Groundskeeper and Zer's Weirding. Look guys, we know you love these cards. We know you really, really, really want people to play with your personal picks. But come on Aaron, you have to admit, if Groundskeeper couldn't make it after coexisting with the dredge mechanic for two years, fetch just ain't happening. And Mark, some pro at some tournament putting a single copy of Zer's Weedern in their sideboard as an enlightened tutor target years ago does not mean you have to keep bringing it back over and over and over and over and over again. Uh, oh, oops, we, we weren't supposed to show you that one. My bad. I pulled some questions off our forum to ask you. Flores for Life asks, just how awesome is Mike Flores? Well... He's 2K7 asks, I bought the glasses, I even bought the damn wig. Why am I not Resident Genius? Well, the thing about that... MJ just... Flores asks, if you remember the time you two were, and I quote, mother poets. Moving on, remember when the Force of Nature foil was given out for the 9th edition release tournament? Remember how Force signaled the return of Trample to the base set? Remember how Wizards used it as the giant sized card in 9th edition fat pack boxes, as the packaging for the 9th edition theme deck display, and as the marquee green fatty for the base set? Yeah, it's gone now. Next. 
Jade statue first appeared in Alpha, moved on to Beta, and Unlimited like all good Alpha cards, and then promptly disappeared for the better part of a decade. Seven base sets later, it reappeared. I knew it weren't no ordinary hunk of rock. Nobody played it, nobody liked it, and nobody kept it in 10th edition. Astrologers predict that the next reoccurrence of Jade statue will happen sometime around 2019 when 16th edition is released. See you then, good buddy. What? What happened? Uh, Blue, who f***ed that up? Well... Green, what happened? We hate green, okay? We hate green. We gave to Fairy to Blue because we hate it so much. I'm sorry. When Incinerate was announced in 10th edition, did anybody think that Volcanic Hammer's days were anything less than numbered? Unless Wizards was going to print 25 red damage spells in one set, Volcanic Hammer was a sure goner. I have some reader questions for you I found last night. Stone drunk. Hot Stud 38 asks, ASL, are you hot? Magnolia Fan asks, does Gleamax suck as much as we all know it does? Gleamax is our online initiative that I don't care. Buttworm asks, OMG, to WoW game makes magic look like quirky from Life Goes On. La 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 la, and this continues for quite a few pages, which I will read to you now. La 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 la. On the flip side, did anyone think that Stone Rain was going to get the heave ho? I'm sure that Wizards has some new three mana red land destruction spell just around the corner, but it's going to be a long, lonely two years without the most printed non basic land card in Magic's history. La 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 la. We're running low on time, so let's give out the remaining words over a musical montage. La 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 la. All right, I just have a couple more questions for you, mainly about the upcoming set, Lorwyn. Just how many Planeswalkers are going to be in Lorwyn? All of them! All of them Planeswalkers! Thank you for your time! And that concludes the first biannual Forsythe Awards. We laughed, we cried, and it was much, much better than Cats. Okay, everybody, that was another magic show. I hope everyone took their ribbing today in stride, and rumor has it I may be up for an invitational vote soon. So if you see my name, you know what to do. Thank you for watching. Until next time, this is Evan Irwin, tapping the cards so you don't have to. So what is your job in Tell It Wizards? I'm the boss of everybody. Really, of everything? Shut up, you're fired. Yeah. See? Be quiet, you're rehired. Don't ask stupid questions. Yes, sir. The safe word is banana. You are a scary monkey. <laughs> <laughs>